Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Nana Firdaus and on today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to cut and sew this beautiful layered abaya. So the amount of fabric you will be needing to make your abaya depends on the gown length of the person you are making it for. So for this particular size, I'll be using a trouser length of chiffon material. This abaya has three layers and each layer, the second layer is 10 inches longer than the first layer and third layer is 10 inches longer than the second layer. So the measurement I'll be using for the layers are the first layer is going to be 36 inches, the second layer will be 46 inches and the last layer which is the third layer will be 56 inches. Starting with the first layer, the length is 36 inches but I'll be adding extra 1 inch for the sewing allowance so I'll be measuring 36 seven inches this way then i'll fold my fabric into two because you know your gown has two sides so you will have to fold your fabric into two and the length will be 37 inches so i'll lay my fabric down and i'll align it properly after aligning it and making sure that everything is straight you place your tape rule on the folded edge then you'll be measuring your 37 inches round in a corner as if you want to cut your flay so i was measuring my, my 37 inches round this way and this is my first layer i'll repeat the same thing for my second layer too so after measuring my 37 inches i'm going to cut it out and this is the first layer you notch the midpoint then you repeat the same thing for the second layer my second layer is 46 inches then i'll add one inch allowance which is 47 inches i'll measure my 47 inches fold my fabric into two at the 47 inch mark to get another 47 inches then i'll align my fabric properly after aligning my fabric properly i'm going to place my tape row at the folded edge this way then i'll measure my 47 inches and i'll cut it out that's for the second layer so i'll repeat the same thing for the third layer too my third layer which is the gown length is 56 inches plus one inch allowance which is 57 inches so i'm measuring 57 inches i'll fold my fabric from that 57 inch mark into two then i'll be measuring my cone round the fabric which is 57 inches and i'll cut it out after that the next thing you will do is you place the layers on each other you you start with the longest layer which is the 57 inch layer you will lay it down then you will lay the 47 inch layer on it then you will lay the shorter layer which is the first layer which is the 7 inch layer on on it then after that i trimmed off the edge and i notched the midpoint of all the layers together at the folded edge so after doing that it's time to cut your armhole you come down from that folded edge you come down by three inches and from that three inches you measure your 12 inches diagonally this way from that three inch mark you measure your 12 inches inwards this way that's your armhole then you measure 11 inches downwards this way downward to meet the 12 inch mark that you made diagonally earlier so you know that is where you will be stopping when you are cutting it then you cut it out and that is your armhole and now to the sleeves the sleeves has two layers so i want the difference between the shorter layer and the longer layer to be 10 inches the sleeve length is 23 inches so the longer layer will be 23 inches while the shorter layer will be 13 inches so it depends on the style you are going for you can make yours 5 inch difference you can make it 3 inch difference depending on what you are going for so after getting the difference that you want, I'll be folding my fabric into two this way. I'll be cutting two sleeves together. So you'll be folding your fabric diagonally this way. So I'll be starting with the shorter layer which is 13 inches plus 1 inch sewing allowance which is 14 inches. You measure your 14 inches on your fabric then you use the freehand method to cut the arm hole out. Then you make sure that the set, the length of your armhole is the same thing with what you cut out on your abaya. Mine is 12 inches. So I'm just measuring it here to be sure that I have 12 inches there. Then you cross check your sleeve length. Mine is 14 inches. Then you cut it out. After cutting it out, don't forget to notch the midpoint. So I'm using this shorter layer to cut the longer layer. 
I'll fold my fabric into two, then I'll place the shorter layer on it this way. The sleeve length I'm working with is 23 inches plus one inch sewing allowance, which is 24 inches. So you either measure 24 inches from the top or you just add 10 inches to your shorter layer round this way and you cut it out. Same way I added it this way. I added 10 inches to the shorter layer to give me 24 inches. Then you cut it out. So after cutting this is I'm going to use it to cut the sleeves for the second arm or two. Don't forget to notch your midpoint. So after cutting your sleeves, you lay the first layer. You pick one of your sleeves, lay the first layer, which is the longer layer with the right side facing up. Then you lay the second layer, which is the shorter layer with the right side also facing up, which means the wrong side of the shorter layer will be on the right side of the longer layer. This way you align it properly. Make sure that the notch points are together. After making sure that everything is well aligned, before sewing it, make sure that you weave or hem the ends of your sleeves. So I pinned the two sleeves together at the point where I notched it. I folded it into two and sew it down this way. Then you repeat the same thing for the second sleeves too. So after joining your sleeves together, the next thing to do is to place your three layers, the three layers of your abayas on each other. You start with the longer layer, you spread it out with the right side facing up. Then you place your the shorter layer, which is the second layer on it, with the right side facing up and the wrong side will be facing the right side of the longer layer. Then you place the shortest layer on the second layer with the right side facing up and the wrong side will be facing the shorter layer this way so the three layers will be on each other so after placing it you align everything together make sure that the notched points are together so, and the armhole too is well aligned after aligning everything it's time to fix your sleeves to your abaya to fix your sleeves to your abaya you pick the part where you joined your sleeves together that is where that is where you'll be placing on the part where your armhole stopped that is where you'll be placing it then i pinned it i pinned it down you align your sleeves in such a way that the notch point, which is the midpoint of your sleeves, will be up. It will be close to your neckline and you'll be sewing it this way, you'll be sewing it round. And you pick the same thing for the second sleeves too. So this is what your abaya will look like after fixing your sleeves to it. So after this, the only thing that is left is to fix your band. Before you fix your band, weave the edges of your layers. So now to fix your band, you fold your abaya into two. Then you measure the front opening. Any figure that you get, you multiply it by two. And that's the length of your band. So the measurement you need for the band of your abaya is going to be the length that you got after measuring the opening of your abaya, front opening of your abaya times two. For example, if you got 58 inches times two, then the width of your band will be four inches. After getting it, you fold your band into two and the midpoint is where you will match to the notch point on the back of your abaya, on the back neckline of your abaya. So you can either choose to add interfacing to it or just fix it this way. So this is the midpoint of my band because I joined two fabrics together. So I'll be placing it on the right side of the abaya by placing it on the notch point that is on the back neckline of my abaya. I pinned it down, then I'll be joining it this way and your abaya is ready. So you can either choose to leave it opened or you will add press buttons to it to cover it up. This is the final look of the layered abaya. Don't forget to send pictures of your own recreations to me via any of my social media handles. If you found this tutorial video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, suggestions or tips you would like to share, kindly drop them in the comment section below. Have a great day. Ma salam.